Hey everyone, how's it going? I know, I never have a cute setup. It is what it is. Chilitos from my garden. Anyways, I want to talk about, I wanted the grilled cheese burrito and I wanted chips and nachos. Chips and nachos, damn, I'm fat. Chips and nachos, nacho cheese, the dip. So I got me the, what is it called again? What did I say it was called? The grilled cheese burrito? Anyways, so, and I wanted a chalupa, so I didn't know what to get. And then I saw this box that had the grilled cheese burrito, the chalupa, and a taco with chips. So I was like, sold. Eight bucks. What happened to $5 boxes? They were never $5 here. They're always like $6. Anyways. I've had their grilled cheese burrito before a long time ago. And it was good. So, I expect it to be good again today. This is the chalupa. I'm using my water bottle. To probably get some of that. I should have brought a plate. Um, I might save the taco for so sad. I asked him right now if he was hungry. He said no. He didn't want nothing. So I was like, say less. Hang on my sheet. Look, this is the grilled cheese. So they grilled cheese on top of it. And it has like, I don't know what it has. Beans and rice. I mean rice. I don't know. I don't know, pero ya se me están tojando. And then my chippy chips. I got me a, I don't even know what I got to drink. I don't know if I got Pepsi or Diet Pepsi. Like, I don't know what I got. They have the best nacho cheese. I usually add nacho cheese to my chalupa. Oh yeah, I forgot to add it this time. I gotta get a chip in there. Hopefully Sam's doesn't start crying because I have to remember every time I would eat, he would start crying. I'm like, how do you know? How do you know? I love adding a whole bunch of hot sauce to my Taco Bell food. And sometimes I tell them, can I get a whole bunch of hot, I mean, mild sauce? And they're like, sure. And they give me like four packets. And I'm like, yeah, that's enough for one bite. Where's the rest? I've only had one person give me a whole bag full. And I was like, I saved it, of course. This was years ago, though. So let's take a bite of the chalupa. Dip it in this nacho cheese. I'm like, I knew I had napkins. Napkins. I knew I had napkins. Anyways, I feel like I gotta whisper. I was gonna say a story time about like the first time I ever smoked weed. My dad just got here and I feel like he can hear me. Not like he cares. I'm grown. And I was gonna take a hit too, but Pops got here kind of early. And I get paranoid. I don't smoke when they're home. I only smoke when I'm alone with the kids. Anyways. Well, there goes that. There goes that. I might wear my chip at. Anyways. I will tell you a little story time. I look like crap. I have no makeup. I don't get a chance to do my makeup no more. My eyelashes are all falling out. I'm not getting a feel. I've had them for a few months now and I feel like... Sometimes I just want to do this to my eye, you know? I even told my I told my lash tech, she's actually an old friend from school. And I told her, I'm not going to... I wasn't going to get them done this time, but since my mom had a party, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to get them done. Anyways. I'm going to move on to the story because <laughs> I'm going to be done and there's no story still. So, the first time I ever smoked... The good stuff. Look at this. What was I saying? I forgot I locked the door. No, oh, hey! Now you have to name it, Latuya. Man, give him give him his cup. I forgot to close the door. Here, settle <laughs> I forgot to close the damn door and like lock it. 
Not even closed. It was like pegado. Like not even closed all the way. Anyways. First time I ever tried it, I want to say I was like 16. I had a friend who would smoke it all the time, but I never cared for it until one day me and my best friend and my cousin were curious. And we did try it in our backyard. My mom had a party. She was with her friends like in the garage, so they didn't even know what the hell was going on in the backyard. Because it was like far. Anyways, <clears throat> I tried one hit. That was it. But I didn't inhale it because I was scared and I was still kind of nervous. And I'm like, what if I act stupid and my parents are here? But I pretended to take a hit because, you know, my cousin and my everybody else was there, and, you know, taking a hit. So I didn't feel shit that day. I think I only got like a little bit hungry, but I don't even think that was a weed. I think that was just my fat ass because I was always hungry. So still am. Um, this tastes like bologna. I don't know what it is. Anyways. Remember when I told you guys a story about how we would hang out at my cousin's house and we would like drink and shit? Oh. And that was the party house. It was an apartment, but we would go party there. And our friend that smoked weed had weed and he he passed out. He fell asleep. So he had like a little, what do you call them? Like a little nug or a, a ball, you know, the weed. I don't know what they're called. I don't buy that. I buy the oil, so. But I used to smoke just purely plant. And to tell you the truth, the plant is way better than the pen because with the pen, that shit go down real quick. And I was telling my brother about it. I'm like, the pen will kind of give you like a little buzz. And then it's gone. So you have to do another hit. With the plant, I remember that would be like this. <laughs> In my stomach, I had to make that noise. And like, I would daze out at the TV like, wow. How they have machines to make all kinds of stuff. Like, I would think the stupidest things. And then I thought I was creative too. Oh, anyways, that's jumping. Anyways, so my cousin, we were like, hey, let's, let's, like, let's smoke, you know. And it was just me and my cousin, my best friend. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if they're watching, you guys are know. You guys are know. You guys are going to know, like, what I'm talking about. So we decided to take a hit. Everybody else was passed out, so we're like, all right, let's do it. I don't even know how we smoked it. I think we smoked it out of a can. Anyways. So we took a hit, you know, we took a few. And then when it finally kicked in, that was the first time I ever felt high. I, high, I was like... You know those circles that like a target, but they're going in circles. And when you're like hypnotized, they go. That's what I felt like. I was like this. I remember I kept moving my head to the side and I kept like making it straight because I felt like the TV was going sideways. And I remember that in the beginning, it was weird. I was like, oh, my God, like I started feeling a little nervous and I'm like, like, holy shit, I'm freaking out. And I'm like, something's happening. I'm going to die. You know, I was so paranoid. My heart was beating so fast. Why do I feel like I've, I've talked about this on here? I don't know. If I have um, reputation. Which means repeat in Spanish. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh. I don't know why. No se me hace tan bueno este hora. I am enjoying the chalupa more. <gasps> Dorita Locos Tata. I thought it was a regular crunchy. I would have started with this one. Sheet. <laughs> I would have started with this one. Anyways. So everything was crazy. I felt like everything was spinning. And then I remember looking at the TV and going. Isn't that. I looked at my cousin. Because my other. My friend passed. Passed. Passed out. Like she fell asleep. So it's just me and my cousin sitting on the couch. And we're like this. Looking at the TV. But we weren't talking. And I remember thinking. Damn. We've been quiet for a really long time. So then I'm looking at the TV and the TV straight ahead of me. Next thing you know, I'm looking up on top of the TV and I'm like, and I would bring my eyes back down and then I would look up back down and I still remember. And I'll still do that today. Like I'll be watching something and I'll be like, whoop. But that's because we took a lot and that was my first time. So I was like crazy. Oh, I'm putting, I don't know what I'm doing, why I'm doing over here. So anyways, and then I said, my cousin was like this. She was just quiet. I think this was her first time too. And then I said, isn't that weird how 
there's like machines that make i don't remember what the we were watching some shit you know after hours we didn't have no hulu netflix none of that back then it was like infomercials or some shit i don't know but we were so out of it that we didn't even notice what we were watching we were just like you know that commercial don't be like i don't know what girl she's all melted on the couch you know you do feel like that because you're like you just relax and then after i said that i looked over at her and she was like huh or i don't know what she said and then we started laughing our asses off like i have never laughed so much like i did that day laughing and laughing to the point that we could not stop and you couldn't hear us laughing no more I'm gonna turn this way because I want you to see my, my mouth. We were just like this. <laughs> and it's so stupid because that's how hard we were laughing. We're like. For the longest time. And the longer it took us to go. <gasps> the more I would panic and I'd be like. Like I can't stop laughing. And then after I finally caught my breath. I'm like. <gasps> I'm like I can't stop laughing. Oh my god. And I started freaking out. Because. I couldn't stop laughing. Oh well before that. When it hit me, like when we were in the in the backyard, like smoking, and we came in, I started hearing my heartbeat. And I don't know what movie they're talking about. What's that banging? And they're like, "Man, it's just your heartbeat." I think it's on Friday. The ice cube was being all paranoid. And that happened to me, and I never remember that part. I just remember going, "Oh my God, somebody's banging on the walls. Somebody's banging on the door." And I grabbed this one. We had the old, good old, you know phone with the cable you know back then this was 20 years ago guys okay 20 years ago when i was 16 so do the math anyways and i remember grabbing the phone and i'm like i need to call an ambulance because you know oh my god oh my god i need to call 911 and they're like oh my god just calm down i was freaking out and i'm like and who's banging on the walls oh my god and they're like we don't hear nothing and i'm like you know you don't hear that and i was going boom 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 and then when I finally realized it was my heartbeat and I could hear it in my ear, I hang up the phone and I start laughing so hard I fall down to the floor. I was laughing so hard. And then they're like, what? And I'm like, it's my heartbeat. And we're all like, <laughs> you know, we all started laughing because this is all three of us' is first time smoking, like really, really smoking. So we're all cracking up. And then that's when you jump into when my friend fall asleep me and me and my other cousin are on the couch and we're laughing so hard sorry my oh my nose always gets running when i eat doesn't matter what i eat we were laughing so freaking hard that i was freaking out i'm like i felt like like a clip from a tv that's repeating itself and i'm going <laughs> like and i wouldn't stop laughing and i was like <gasps> like i really need an inhale and then go ah and keep laughing some more because it was just so funny and we didn't even know what the hell was funny and my cousin was laughing too anyways after like the whole laughing episode happened like passed i told her oh man i'm freaking out i'm freaking out i'm like i thought i was gonna die because i couldn't stop laughing i thought i was gonna like die because i couldn't breathe and she's like oh my god i couldn't breathe i couldn't breathe either i couldn't stop laughing so anyways fast forward we we're just chilling there you know laughing or whatever being silly now we get hungry <laughs> We were so hungry, and at this time, we had like no food. We had no food to eat. Like we had nothing. Like we had to cook, and we're like, we ain't cooking right now, you know. So the only thing we could think of, we saw hot dogs, we saw sandwich bread, but we had no ketchup, no mayo, no nothing. So then I'm like, what if we eat a hot dog on a sandwich bread with sriracha? Cause she has sriracha, and she's like, oh, that sounds good. So we made ourselves a hot dog with sriracha. That's it, just sriracha. I remember eating that and thinking it was the most delicious hot dog I've ever eaten in my whole life. And I even kept saying, this is so freaking good. And she's like, yes, it is. And we ate like, I ate like three. She ate like, I don't know how many. It was so good. So then the next day, after we ate, we passed out. I have to take small bites because these bitches are... Anyways, <clears throat> that was my first time smoking.
I don't smoke it with like friends. My brothers. Always the same. Paranoid as hell. Paranoid. I would freak out. And I still get paranoid. And I don't know how to get rid of that paranoia. I used to be paranoid because it was illegal. And I was underage. Now I'm like, it's legal and you grown. Like, what are you scared of? But I still get scared. Like, I don't know. I freak out. Sometimes I get so paranoid that I, I get scared for no reason. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I start shaking. Una vez my nalga was shaking so bad. Like, just one butt cheek was like, my leg. Because I was freaking out for no reason. And I'm like, why am I freaking out right now? And then one day I made the mistake of smoking on my lunch break when I worked at Wendy's with another friend. And when we came in. I was so paranoid. I was on my knees on the floor laughing like this. <laughs> and my other friend, the other girl that worked there, she didn't know I smoked. And she's like, hey, you. She's like, what are you doing on the floor? And she's like, what? And she's like, what's so funny? Like, she had no idea we had just smoked. Did you guys hear Emily? She just told us that I'm making a video in Spanish. Emily doesn't know how to speak Spanish. And I don't want to hear shit, okay? We tried. She doesn't know how to speak Spanish. She barely. Sebastian knows more than Emily, but anyways. I'm good to have the way. I freaking hate when people say, why don't you teach them Spanish? I did. We talked nothing but Spanish to them and they caught on to English. I think because all the cousins and they used to like always hang out at my sister's house and you know my nephews and nieces puro English con ella so I think that's why she picked it up. I don't know. Anyways, and then my friend, he's like an old family friend. He used to live in LA and he moved in with us. Like we were practically cousins. We grew up together with his sisters and everybody. So he lived with us. Well, me and him had smoked and then he's like, they say, and I'm like, I need to, I'm like, I need, I can't be high right now. I'm like, cause it's almost time to get off and my mom like, don't pick me up, you know? So then he's like, I already be eat onions. It'll take it away. So there we are, los dos mensos eating onions. And then my friend's like, why are you guys eating onions? She's like, you know what? She's like, I don't even want to know. She walked away. Because she was like in the back taking the orders. But since we were closing, she was already washing all the dishes. That was a back person's um, job. You know, included washing the dishes. As you know, you take orders on your breaks. When nobody was ordering, you would go and wash dishes. So anyway, she was washing her dishes. And I'm still laughing on the floor. Oh, and she thought I was laughing at her. And she's like, what's so funny? And she's like, what, what, what? Oh, when we went outside, the manager... She was so cool. She knew we were smoking. And her brother-in-law actually was the one that gave me and my friend a joint for my birthday. He gave me two joints and one cookie. And he's like, happy birthday. And he, oh, I thought it was so cute. He was like a hippie, you know, mustache, you know, dreadlocks. Like, and he was always saying, you know, oh, you know, you like, what do you say? He would call himself an old dirty hippie. Like, I'm not calling him a hippie. He would call himself that. Like, when we would be like, oh man, you know, I'm not going to say his name. Tom. I'm like, oh my god, he was a white guy. And I'm like, Tom, I'm so happy you're working today. Because I, we loved him. He was so cool. He's like, you like this old stinky hippie? And like, he would always call himself hippie. I'm like, yes, we do. And he gave me that for my birthday. So we smoked it. The manager knew. We went outside. And I told her, hey, Tom gave me like two joints and a cookie. And she's like, are you going to smoke it right now? And I'm like, hell no. I'm like, I can't. She goes, why not? She's like, do it. We're almost in the close. So I'm like, okay. So we went out there with the manager. While the other girl was inside washing dishes because she was trying to get caught up. So that what it was time to leave. You know, she was the first one to go. So she looks out the window, the drive through window because we were standing like, you know where the, like the storage place is? And she was talking to us and she's like, I smell weed. And she goes, do you guys smell weed? And we're like, no. And um, my manager was smoking a cigarette. And then we started laughing and she's like, what's so funny? And we're like, nothing. So then after you know the homie laughing on the floor and then the eating onions she's like she comes up to us and she's like wait were you guys smoking pot outside and we're like no and then she's like yes you were she's like i can tell by your eyes and you won't stop laughing and we're like Pfft. so you know she knew we were smoking and then she smelled it but we thought it was so funny she's like does this smell like weed she's like i smell weed and we had like the joint like back here but we just didn't tell her because she was kind of like stuck up goody two shoes like oh my gosh you know we just didn't feel like telling her at the time 
until like later but anyways so then my mom picks us up okay i'm so high and i'm like me paranoid so i'm in the car my mouth like this because you know you get caught in mouth real bad and i'm like and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna cheek lay. You know, I asked for a gum. She always has gum. My mom always, till this day, always has gum in her car or her bag. And she's like, see? So then me and Robert, we're gonna call him Robert, the friend that lived with us, we're chewing gum. And then we stopped at this gas station. My mom was gonna put gas in. And then Robert was gonna get off to get something. And we start cracking up for no reason like i just looked over at him and we're like and we started laughing and mom was like que? Que? Se rien? Se rien? like what are you laughing at and you know robert had just gotten out of the car to go into the store because he wanted to go buy himself like something to drink or something he had the munchies already and then i'm like we were laughing so hard and mom was like what's so funny and i'm like oh i'm laughing because um robert's foot got stuck in the stock stuck in the cart in the seat belt as he's getting off you know it's the kind of the seats that you had to Pushed the seat forward and they had to get out from the back. You know, it was a probe. She had a Ford probe car. And then she's like, oh, oh, you know, yeah, I guess that's funny. But we kept laughing and I, I'm pretty sure she was like, okay, that's not that funny. But okay, she didn't even think anything, I think. Oh, my cheese thing fell. Good thing I only have like a little bit left. But anyways, so we got home, went to sleep, called it a day, safe place, is laying on my bed and covering myself with a blanket. There can, the world can be ending and I'll be on my bed with my blanket because that's my safe place. It, it always has been, it always will, children are singing out there, like I'm not making a video in here even though I said do not be loud because I'm going to record. Anyways, I eat a lot, guys. I mean, I almost finished the whole damn chili. See how sometimes I can eat a lot, sometimes I can't eat a lot. Cesar's here, by the way. Anyway. I will get that paranoid, guys. Now, I'm a little bit... I think it's because of the pen. It doesn't affect me as much, but I'm sure if I were to do the plant, I would be in a hospital like deep, deep, thinking I'm dying or something because. Oh, me pegó calor. I'm so freaking hot. And is that damn chili, I think. Let me get my little box and wrap everything up. But, anyways, so yeah, how we get hella paranoid. Um, my favorite part of smoking was when I would get the munchies. In when I would work at the motel, as soon as I left, every time I worked nice, every time I left, I would smoke. Oh, and that's another thing I'm a night smoker, usually when I'm gonna go to bed, but lately I've been smoking during the day because you guys, having four kids is very stressful. And I have a few friends that have their own kids and they smoke. I follow people and they follow me back on TikTok that we smoke, we have kids, you know. And we can relate because, you know, I can be in a bad mood and I can be irritated with everything. But I feel like when I smoke, I feel like it calms me down and then I'm like, I don't, I don't overdo it because I need to be, you know, 100. Obviously, I'm not going to be 100, you know, but I'm in my house, I'm with my kids. But I do it enough to where I feel relaxed and I'm like, whew. And I feel like I am so patient. I'm in a good mood. Everything my kids do is just adorable. Even without it, I think they're adorable. But Like I could just be looking at them and I'm more like, I concentrate. Even though I always like pay attention to them and stuff. But I feel like I'm more focused on them. And like, I think they even notice like, oh, mom's in a good mood. You know, and I'm just like. But yeah, like if you have kids and you feel very stressed and shit or have anxiety, like anyways um i would suggest you try it because you know what guys i would a hundred percent much rather does that make sense a hundred percent much rather i would a hundred times much rather smoke something natural 
the meal medication because people were thinking I had postpartum rage or postpartum depression because I was like I feel very days where I was so angry that I would cry because of how angry I was that I was angry so then people are like no you know you need medication like maybe you're going through postpartum depression and I'm like but I'm not sad I'm angry and they're like well who can come in anger and then I've seen other people get postpartum rage and I'm like what and I'm like I don't want my kids to grow up remembering me as remember when my mom would be in a bad mood like I don't want them to remember me that way because my mom was always in a bad mood and so was my dad and then I seen a post saying like now I understand why they were in a bad mood my parents because we would drive them crazy perfect example right there I'll whoop ass right now um somebody like somebody told me like a family member they're like hi oh, don't say you're gonna whoop your kids ass on on um your videos because there was somebody you're gonna get in trouble and I'm like I don't I never whoop their ass like never and I'm like I just say it because it's something we say I even tell them hey Whoever doesn't finish, they're talking about whoop that ass. But they know I'm joking because that's just, that's how I talk to them. But anyway. So yeah. So I would suggest you look into that. Something more natural, you know, to keep you relaxed. Um, I will come up some, with some creative shit and I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to become a millionaire because I just thought of something. But then the next day when I try to remember what it was, I don't remember what I was thinking. And I'm like, shit. You know. But yeah, that shit was funny. I don't remember if I have other other stories. I probably do. But you know, I'm going to cut it right here because I feel like this video has been too long. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. I know a lot of you guys want more hotel stories. And I've had people say like, you know, can you do another hotel story time? The thing is, I don't have no more stories. Whatever I've already said or like the highlights from that job and i'm pretty sure other stuff have happened but oh they're like in that back memory where you don't you just don't remember like but I, I can't come up with nothing more like i can't think of anything more to tell you because i don't have other stories maybe i should go back to the hotel and i told my mom today i'm gonna go back to the hotel and work because i'm bored and you know i miss working there it was fun because there was something crazy going on and she's like that's loca i know Dice, en ese hotel chafa. <laughs> like, that's what she said. En ese hotel tan chafa, like, donde va la gente loca. And I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, but we stay at a Motel 6 out of the other, other cities. Like, what are, you, what are you trying to say? But, you know, and she's like, no, mejor vete a trabajar uno de esos hoteles más buenos en el, you know, next to the airport. Like, she's telling me to get a, a job at a better hotel, but I don't know. I don't know if I would go back to a hotel. I'm going to go back to work. I just don't know. Yeah, I know when. When the little one's in school, because... I don't trust nobody with my kids, guys. Mm -mm. Oh, he's crying. It's like he knows that I'm on my way out. But says I'm with him. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.